Toronto K-pop con. 2016. Yeah. When Josh had been first came first time. They just have to put up a front, like everything's okay. Cause then, and even in Korea society, it's like, um, like mental illness and like depression there, and like I feel so like it's very over, look, yeah, and it's looked down upon, and it's like taboo, and like they don't understand the concept of like you can be physically okay, but like mentally you can be like fucked up. So. Yeah, exactly. And we've seen that through many many cases, and I feel like. A lot of fans take that for granted. Yeah, um, a lot of people do take that for granted because they be asking for like so much, like they, like we'll get so much, and then they'll still be asking for more, and it's like damn. I feel like times have yeah. really changed. I feel like during second gen, it wasn't very accepted. I think before it used to be like you were disposable at any time. Yeah, like, if you were in a controversy and like, scandal, like you're out, like yeah. cut and stuff. But now it's like you have a whole fan base of loyal. Like actually loyal like, ass. Like yeah, before I feel like during second gen they were loyal, but it but wasn't was as like, loyal turn, as now. Yeah, like they'll turn their backs on you right away. But like this, it's like, especially now with like how big social K-pop media is, yeah. and like how big it is, and now it's in America. It's like you're gonna like there are people that will stick by. Just as fast as they'll come to your aid, they'll also dip you in a yeah. second. That's how. And I honestly, even like Man the thought, is. and honestly, I know idols think about that. Like, even the thought of that is so scary. Like, damn, like, that's why it's like, even more they have to put up a front. Cause it's like, damn, like. One wrong move one and wrong you can move, lose I'm your entire lose, career. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna lose my career and shit like that. And that's why it's different in America. In America. They get like, to do whatever. Yeah, cause like Justin, taking like Justin Bieber, like he's had his ups and downs and shit. And he's still at the top. And he's still at the top or he's still like loved and like. Whatever and stuff like that, but like, One like wrong move. yeah, and they're like they're they're done. shunned by the country, yeah. they're shunned by fans. They'll have like a few supportive fans here and there, but it's like you know. But sometimes, like yes, it, they do deserve to be treated that way. Yeah. But at the same time, you gotta think about like their certain situation and like it really depends on the situation, like and how it balances. Um, I say dating is no. Like, it's literally no problem. Yeah, like, like, it shouldn't chill. be a problem. <laughs> like, chill. That should be the least of your problems. Um, but yeah, like, stuff like the Burning Sun scandal. Have you yeah. heard about that one? No, I don't think so. So basically... Dude, like, some of you guys, like, some fans... Some fans, some fans are so fucking entitled. Yeah. And some fans are so blinded by yes. this image. You know what I mean? But it's like, there can be more summaries in the K industry. It's just, they're not... They haven't been outed. Exposed, you know what I mean? Yeah. They haven't been exposed. You know? Like, you have to be careful who you support and who you don't. And, like, you're still a person, you know? Like, you're not just a fan. Like, you have to look into... Like when something happens, even like read into like, the yeah, facts, read, read into, into the it, details. Research, don't just blindly like, defend. Yeah, and don't blindly defend and don't blindly cancel. Like cancel. Oh, I hate so, canceling culture. Yeah. That's so stupid. This is why I left Stan Twitter. <laughs> if you guys know me, my Stan Twitter used to be a five two Jer, and I used to be so active. I just stopped because I couldn't handle all like literally. I don't know what shit people were fighting about every single day. I was so over it. Like, cancel culture, especially Stan Twitter, is so toxic and so, like, especially for GOT7. GOT7, it still angers me to this to day. To this day that there are so many people that so much are God so God. against them. It's, it pissed me off so bad. Like, honestly, Like, yeah. it's tough. It's so tough. Like, I swear there's not a day that goes through, that goes by, where GOT7 doesn't get any hate. Yeah. And it's like mindless hate too. It's like, oh, their music is trash, this and that, blah blah blah. Yeah. blah, 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 blah. And then like as a fan, it's like, dog, chill. You know, like it's relax. not your fandom, get the fuck out of here. Like, yeah, like relax. You know, like <laughs> just just chill, you know? You can like there's so many instances where people liked a group or liked someone and then because everyone was canceling them and everyone was doing this, saying something, they like suddenly changed their opinion and it's like that's what they think now. You know, it's like it's like brainwashing, honestly. And like people think like one group should be better than the other. Like why can't all groups be good? You know, like dude, they're all just trying to make it out here in life 
make a living, but then, make some money. You yeah, know I mean? but then there are people out here who are like, eat. <laughs> yeah, and then there are like fans out here of other fandoms or whatever. They'll be like, oh, this group is like horrible. They're untalented. This and that. They work just as hard as your favorites to get where they are today. Yeah, like don't it's crazy. undervalue somebody's hard work just because you that's like crazy, yeah. you have your own like favorites yeah, and you yeah, want to yeah. praise them. You can praise them without devaluing yeah, yeah, yeah. others and work. Yeah, right? and then there's some members who are like, oh, they're useless. They're not good at any of these things. But like, obviously they're useful and obviously they're good at something because they're still an idol at the end of the day. They at the end of the day, they were chosen. They were chosen out of how many yeah, people? Okay. They were still were chosen. They were still able to debut. Like, I understand where these people like get those. Kind they of just want yeah. to devalue so many people out yeah. there and just like see their faves as different. Yeah. See their faves as on the top. Whether it be like for music wise, personality wise, I don't know, content wise, this and that. Yeah. It's like they won't have like they won't be satisfied yeah until like everybody is beneath says, them or something yeah, yeah like i don't get it like your idols don't think this way but, your yeah, fans don't yeah, think this way why do you have to think this yeah, way yeah and i guess like those kind of fans it's not even they like they want those kind of things because it's not for like if you think about it as much as they want to deny but like it's not actually for the group like that they're supporting it's literally so they can say that i support I support them and they're at the top. Like I'm part of the I'm part of fandom. the biggest yeah whatever the biggest fan. I'm part of the fandom that has that supports the biggest group of you know what I mean. It's just it's like an ego thing. Like they want to be like, like yeah. You know, I've had so many of those replies. It's like you don't have a say in this. You're an agassi. You stand yeah, got that. I'm like man. I'm a I'm person. I'm a person. I'm talking to you. Everybody's different. Everybody's unique. Everybody has different styles, taste. But just like how you like different yeah. foods, just, just let like people be music. It's the same thing for music. Nobody likes the same music. Well, there are people who do, but like honestly, like everybody's taste buds are the same. Yeah. Are are the different? So like you can't judge somebody's yeah. liking. Just on, let like, people be. And also, oh my god, the other side of the spectrum on San Twitter is like obviously those loyal, dedicated fans who always vote and who always yes. Vote. But then they get mad at everyone else who do, like who doesn't, and then I'm like. Well, obviously, I want to vote, vote and everything. But some like, people are out here stuff. having full-time yeah. jobs. They have a life. People, they don't have time to stream 24 Yeah, seven. and then, like, people don't, like, they get guilt-tripped into doing that. They get they get classified as, oh, you're not, like... A real so, fan. You're not a real fan. You're not supportive enough, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, dog, some of us be struggling with money. How exactly. can I pay for this? You know what I mean? Like, there are other ways to support there's other, them. Yeah. But, like, and it's like, shouldn't you be glad that they're even a fan? Like... At the end of this, you're still fans. If you listen to the music, you listen to the music. Like, it's literally what it is. Like, it is what it is. Like, I don't know why people want to control what other people do. Exactly. That's and the, that's the, that's the tea of it. Okay. At the end of the day, you, you're still a fan. Yeah, you're still, you're still a fan. A fan. You still support the same group. You still love the same group. And it's, there's no different. Like, yeah, there shouldn't be seniority like, or anything. And, like, even GOT7 or, like, even groups say, like, like, dude, like, you're like you don't have to do this or like don't listen to what anyone says like if you support us like thank you like yeah, exactly. that's all we need your support you know what i mean like it's just you know k-pop has just evolved so much throughout the years the fandoms has a very much evolved yeah and can we talk about one thing i've been wanting to get this off my chest i hate how k-pop has become so saturated over the years where it seems like views and charts and stuff like yeah. that are the only thing that, that matters, matters to like, support a group and how that's only proof that they have to show that this group is the If you don't have this many views and you're not charting well, you're a flop. Yeah. I hate the word flop. I have that flop? word muted. Who says flop in 2019? Flop is flopped. That's that's a flopped word. Cancel that word. Cancel culture, cancel it. Views and stuff like that back in 2011, it didn't matter. 2010, it did not matter. Um, People were just grateful to get views in the in the first place. I know? remember, like, like getting one million views was, was hard. Uh, was very hard. It was holy fuck. Like the most viewed videos were like in the ten millions or whatever. Yeah, but now it's like it's like when you get to hundred million, it's whatever. Yeah, you're literally putting so much pressure on them to keep topping. You know, like their last thing, and it's like that's not healthy. Like, and then when you not... do, when when you do put that pressure on them, and they don't, let's say they, it doesn't flop, but let's say like, it doesn't reach those expectations. People are let down, fans are let down, yeah. and then it shows, right? And that, that's just 
not something that we should yeah, be and like, encouraging. Yeah, and honestly, like you feel that way like temporarily, but these artists and like people behind it, it takes a toll on them. That takes a toll on them, and like honestly, that affects you mentally because it's like, damn, like you have to live up to these certain yeah, standards. Yeah, like, you gotta keep like pushing yourself, even though you're like, you know, like you're making. Honestly, like it's like you're making them feel like it's not enough. You know, like what yeah. they're doing is not enough. And like when some people are burnt out sometimes. Like they need yeah. a break, and sometimes yeah. their company just won't give them the break, and then yeah. it's to the point where they can't handle it anymore. Just because a group doesn't do well in Korea mm -hmm. does not mean they are flop. They could be completely successful internationally. Given a, let's say an example like Yukis. Mm -hmm. Yukis is one of those K-pop groups who ran for like what, ten, nine years, and you mentioned Yukis today. You, people still know them, right? They released Bops. We all know that, um, but they never got their first win. Despite not having like super mega popularity in Korea, they still had popularity internationally. Yeah, right. To, I feel like you know, God Seven is like God Seven is yeah. also a good. They're example. super like popular internationally. Then, but they're not nobodies in Korea, in Korea either. Yeah. It's just like they're less known, less known than other groups. That's it. But it's not their international popularity has gotten them recognition in Korea. Yeah, and without that international popularity, they would not be recognized as like. A top yeah. artist, maybe not in Korea, but a top artist in K-pop in general, right? So that's why I feel like there are just so many people who are obsessed with like charting on like Melangon or whatever music show awards. Isn't that oh my god, music show awards and like just like end of the year show awards? That those times are very toxic on the tw um, yeah. Ten, Twitter. Yeah, everyone just needs to like get off their high horse. No one's better, like, no one has the right to tell people that, like, this person is better than the other person. Like, literally, no one's perfect. No one is self-righteous. Everyone has flaws. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone is trying their best. Idols are just trying to make it out here, you know? We're just trying to, like, have fun, have support fun, our faves. Support your faves, you know? Like, just chill. When there are people out there who devalue like people's favorites or let's say like oh your faves are untalented your faves um are unknown your faves this and that blah blah my faves are so much better than you you're also devaluing somebody's happiness there are people who depend on this to yeah. get them through life basically. it's not just about the music and it's there not are, just about yeah the exactly there are people thing. who are depressed out there and they rely on people's music or like personalities just the group themselves to kind of like put a smile on their face you know everybody yeah. goes through different situations and like Sometimes it's not the best situation ever, so when you devalue another group or like say like, oh, they're flops, um, they're this and that, their music's horrible, blah, blah, there are people out there who look up to them, who depend on them to get them through life and you're devaluing their happiness and that makes you sh the most shittiest person of all. Don't think that you are even up there, you are just as ugly as like criminals, like you're devaluing somebody's happiness, you're... Just saying like, oh, your happiness is shit, your happiness is failure, um, your happiness does not deserve to live. That's so toxic. That's Cut, so... cancel. Cancel all the toxic fans. <laughs> like, we're not saying you can't be fans because you act this way. It's just like, dude, just chill out. Chill out. Stop thinking you're better focus than everybody. Focus on yourselves. Focus on your happiness. Don't focus on anyone else's happiness. If you're happy that your group is doing this well, cool. yeah, just yeah. say, oh yeah. Like, I'm so proud yeah. of them. They got humble. this far. Humble yourselves. Literally. Just <laughs> humble yourselves. You know, like, just relax. Relax. I love how we just went on a tangent. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know what you guys think in the comments section below about, like, stand up, stand up, what the fuck? Fandom culture, stand culture, um, Twitter, stand, stand Twitter, or, like, just K-pop in general and how, like, the points that we've made, if there's anything you disagree, then... Please say it nicely. Do not be rude. We do not tolerate rude fans. Constructive criticism, criticism. only, please. please. And I will be glad to have a conversation with anyone. Honestly. Maybe we will film another video. We can do another. If you guys like these type of videos where we just go on a tangent and rant about like problems in K-pop or problems in society, whatever, just let us know. So if you guys like those type of videos, then let us know. Um, I'll bring Audrey back for another video maybe. So yeah. Um, Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.